Amen. We thank God for all things. Amen. Amen. To our prophet Lamont, praise God. Amen. And to our elder, Bless pastor, you. amen, prophet. Amen. We just thank God for a solid rock gospel assembly. We give all the honor to God today. We turn it quickly to Mark 2nd chapter, the first through the twelfth verse. Hey, Holy Ghost, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Mark, second chapter, beginning at the first through the twelfth verse. Amen. And again he entered Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together, and so much that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto the him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he wherein the stick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why does this man go speak blasphemy? Who can't who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Wherein is it easier to say to sick of the poison, that thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed, and walk? Amen. We're going to stop right there. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. For the reading of his word. Here we have the story of this man. That heard about Jesus. He was paralyzed. Someone say paralyzed. Paralyzed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But he heard that Jesus was announced. Right. And the Bible don't say how exactly he got there because he was paralyzed. But he had enough effort. Amen. To go to where Jesus was. Well, somebody said, I need to go where Jesus is. I need to go where Jesus Praise is. God. Father God, speak this message in Jesus' name. And the topic of our topic today is anointed to be a roof buster. Somebody say, I'm anointed. I'm anointed to be a roof buster. To be a roof buster. Praise God. Now, there was crowd all around the door. Uh -huh. Hey! The house was already packed. Jesus was inside. But it was worth the crowd and the press when they knew that something supernatural was going on in that house. Amen. Amen. And this man was there paralyzed. Amen. He Amen. couldn't even get to the door. But there were four other men there. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. These four men that don't see that they came together. But when they saw the need. Somebody say when they saw the need. When they saw the need. Of this paralyzed man. Of this paralyzed man. Together. Amen. I said, Lord, help me see the need. Lord, help me see the need. So they got together. Amen. They Amen. got the crowd. I guess the crowd said, what are they doing with that paralyzed man? They didn't hear about the crowd. Praise God. Their compassion and their thought went towards that man. Yeah, so say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So they forgot about the door. They said, no, we ain't going to go through the door. We're going to do something out of the box. Amen. Sure enough, out of our comfort zone. Hallelujah. Amen. They gathered together. I shut up. Oh, hell, glory to God. Amen. And they went up to the roof. You hear what I say? Amen. Now, we don't hear nowhere else when this ha has happened. Praise God. They took together 
Got that paralyzed man on their shoulder and they arms, whatever way they did it, and they went up to the roof. Now, years ago, they used to have spear steps on the side of the house. Uh -huh. But the thing of it is, when they got to the roof, somebody said, when they got to the roof, when they got to the roof, couldn't go through the roof like that. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. Praise God. They have to bust open that roof. Amen. Hey, shout to hey, glory to God. Now, when you think about paralyzed, you think about a person, amen, they are emotionally imbalanced. Their nerves are damaged. They cannot move. Praise God. Somebody Amen. say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There's different paralyzations in us. We're moving around, but we can be paralyzed in our body. Somebody Amen. say, come on here. Paralyzed in our finances. Paralyzed in our health. Paralyzed in our dreams and Amen. our goals. Amen. Amen. God gave me a vision, gave me a dream. And the enemy come, amen, and sit on you and paralyze you with it. Amen. Have you ever stand still? Amen. Have you not moving? Have you not amen. moving in faith? Have you not moving, praise God? Stepping out, amen, launching out in the deep. Have you paralyzed when you don't stop the word of God? Amen. Somebody say, I'm not going to be paralyzed. I'm not going to be paralyzed. Amen. amen. But God will give you the wisdom and the strength you need. Amen. To set you free. Amen. Amen. So here we find these four men with this paralyzed man. Amen. Gotta get to Jesus. Because Jesus is the only one that can help him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And sometimes we need new avenues of hope to cross our avenues of desperation. Amen. So said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, God knows what you need. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say the Holy Spirit is the greatest navigator there is. Amen. He knows the cuts and turns and what it's going to take to get you to where you have to go. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So many times people don't know what to say. Oh, person to say you don't know what to say, keep your mouth shut. Amen. Amen. Times when people need this life to be spoken into. Amen. Some people speak death into you. Man. Praise God, you're going into something. Amen. And here they go. Oh, my aunt, my grandmother died from the same thing. You ain't speaking life into that person. Man. Man. People Man. need to speak life into people. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, daughter, you're going through something. Yes, brother, you're going through something. But I know that through Christ, you're more than a conqueror. He's going to out. He'll bring you out. Amen. He's going to sing God. Yes, he yes Jesus. I'm talking about. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right now. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And they began to tear off the roof little by little. Yes. Little by Glory. little. Little by little. Yes. You see what it is. We gonna, the Holy Spirit is taking this a different way, but Amen. it's all right. It's all right. All right. We need to get to the roof of the problem. Preach. The root of the problem. You say, what are you talking about? Yes. A lot of times people have coverings. But the covering ain't right. Jesus. Jesus. It's a false covering. Jesus. It's not a righteous covering. My God. And you got to tear until you get to the root of the problem. Amen. What is the root of the problem? Amen. They got a covering. They got a smile. But it's something you need to smile. And you gotta tear it apart. You gotta bust it open. Yes. To get to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll never forget I sat in at a wellness meeting. And there's this young lady there talking at the time of how she used to cut herself. When she was about the age of six years old, her mother entrusted her with her youngest daughter, her sister, who was only about two. And her mother went out to the store. Praise the name of God. While she went out to the store, Lord, how can see? That youngest daughter, some kind of way, got in between the guards of the window. And she fell and she died. Jesus. The mother, instead of turning to Jesus or crying out for help, 
She flipped the whole thing on her six-year-old daughter. Oh, and said, you are responsible for this. My so Lord. That young lady grew up with that. Jesus. She grew up with that hurt. And she said, what she started doing, amen, is cutting herself. Now, this is the thought my that Lord. to me. But she said when she used to cut herself, that was like releasing her guilt and her pain. And somebody said, well, how do you, you connect that with cutting yourself? But for her, she said that's what she did to escape. And to God, sent the Ruth Buster. Hey, 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 hey. Sent the social worker. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. And said, come on here, Ruth Buster. Come on here. Why are you carrying this guilt? And she told her the story. And she told her, that wasn't your fault that your younger sister fell. First of all, your mother had no business leaving you in the house by yourself. And she should have. Bust that bitch. And Robo Shanda. That's all I said. I think I'm Oh, 
He's going to have you do things you ain't never done before. He's going to face and look silly to other people. Praise God. But God has a way. He has a plan. He has a pattern. Somebody say, follow Jesus and you won't go wrong. Follow Jesus and you won't go wrong. Amen. He's anointed us to be somebody roof buster. And sometimes you come to the problem in the place where you say, Lord, am I the paralyzed man right now? Or am I going to be somebody to help somebody else get to their destination? Come on here, somebody. Hey. 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 You know that now we all have been at that paralyzed point somewhere in our life. We are going through something right now. Amen. Praise God. Or you might be someone who God is going to use to bring somebody to their deliverance. Amen. Bring somebody to their breakthrough. Bring somebody to their next anointing. Come on here. Somebody say, I love you. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You have been empowered. Amen. By the Holy Ghost. Don't say what you can't do. It's not what you do in yourself. It's what you do through the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's what you do through the fire of God. Amen. God has stripped you. He has empowered you. Amen. To empower somebody else. It's not to keep it to yourself. And I'll tell you, this COVID-19 has broke us down to build us up. Amen. Glory. Turn to your neighbor and say, it broke me down. It broke me down. To build us up. To build us up. Praise God. Praise God. Just when you Thank think you, everything Lord. is shutting down. This when you think, oh, there's no way. What happens when the door is closed? That door was closed. Yeah. Not only was the door closed, you couldn't even get through it. It was so crowded. Yeah. People already inside the house. What happened when that door is closed? Jesus. You wait on God to give you a strategy. That's right. Somebody said, Lord, Lord, download, download a strategy, a strategy in my spirit, in my spirit, and He's already in control. Yeah. Sometimes He has to send somebody from the north, south, east, west to meet your destination. Sometimes he'll raise somebody right next to you to help you reach your destination. Because sometimes the door you think should be open is closed. But God got doors moving in you. Amen. And when he shuts doors, can't nobody open it. Amen. And when he opens doors, can't nobody shut it. You can get that one way. God got a door waiting over here. Amen. But he's in control. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Whatever your blockage is. Amen. Whatever your nerve damage is. Thank you, Lord. Some thank people's Lord. nerve damage is hurt. It's right. And I, I ain't talking about hurt from a stranger. Right. And what I'm going to shake it. How about y'all see? Hey! Hey! Family hurt. Church hurt. Come on here, somebody. Hey! I, I train the people, but yet the people I train became my supervisor. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen! 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 Praise God! I was honest with myself some time ago. I said, Lord, you know, I got a problem trusting person. No, 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 Amen. No, no. Amen. Not to get you where God wants you to be. And only God can break it. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now, there's some things with the judgment. Praise God. You should lay back off of. That's Praise right. God. But just a bit, put up a fence. Amen. That's a blockage. That's a blockage. <laughs> God might want you to go into business with somebody. I don't what? trust nobody. Uh -huh. Amen. That might be the very person you might have to trust. Amen. The very person that's going to give you intellect and knowledge in the area you don't even have. Amen. Somebody said hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We got nerve damage. Praise God. The body of Christ got nerve damage. Praise God. Amen. Lack of faith. Praise God. Amen. You don't need a lot of faith, Jesus said. Just don't be wishy-washy. Don't, don't be doubting. Amen. 
Don't, don't be double minded. Somebody say amen. 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 When you're double minded, that's nerve damage. That's paralyzation. Y'all not going to say hello. Hey! Somebody, somebody of God, some individual, amen, need to pick you up. See, I know you've been hurt. I know you've been hurt. I know they overlooked you. God of be the God. Amen. But I'm going to take you to the one. Hallelujah. Who's a promoter above promoters. I'm going to take you to the one who's a healer above healers. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm going to take you to the one. Amen. Amen. It's a breaker. Amen. Of every chain. I'm going to take you to the one. He was a deliverer. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Amen. God wants us, amen, to be able to carry somebody else to the next level. Carry somebody else to the very core of being healed. Very core of being forgiven. Somebody say amen. Praise God. They didn't stop, but they knew power was in that house. Praise the name of God. Amen. The poor men also knew that they were capable of. Some people would say they knew they called. You gotta know who you are in Jesus Christ. You might not have been to this school, you might not have that title, amen. But you got the greatest of greatest powers in you. The very power of the Almighty God resting the rule and abide inside of you. They knew that when they got together, whatever needed to be done was going to be carried out. And I say that because a lot of times when you start something, in this case it was a person, sometimes it's a situation, an obligation, a responsibility, a goal. You have to realize that I might come into a situation that I didn't expect. Right. That really wasn't easy just to dismantle. You might have dismantling stops along the way, but it's all right because you got enough greater to see in me than you in the world. Go on here, somebody. Right. Praise God. You're going to have challenges to see you distort your destination, but it's all right. Praise God. Because I know the person on the inside of the house. Somebody said, I know who's on the inside of the house. I know who's on the inside of the house. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His Amen. Name is Jesus. 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 Amen. 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 And when we reach that place in Jesus where God wants us to be, Amen. praise God. When we sit in that heavenly place where God wants us to be, miracles will happen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. It might not happen the way you think it should happen. But miracles will happen. Praise God. Because you have met the miracle worker. Amen. He has downloads the strategy you need. The love you need. The forgiveness you need. Yeah. He forgave this man's sins and told him he was healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A lot of breakthroughs in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of coverings breaking is going to have to come through forgiveness. Now, forgiveness don't mean that the person be forgiven is right or wrong, but it's releasing yourself out of that prison. Because see, when you don't forgive, I don't care if it was five hours or 50 years ago, you're still giving that situation or that person power and control over you, oh yes you are. They still have you in a bondage. They could be a 500 miles away. But they still hold you in a bondage. Why? Because you have been locked in the prison from the past. Jesus. You're locked. You're being held like a bird in a cage. Forgive them. Forgive them. And allow the love of God and the compassion of God to set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take that burden off of you. Amen. A lot of sicknesses. I don't see all sicknesses now, but a lot of them. Especially when the doctor said, we don't know what's wrong. We can't find nothing. A lot of it comes from unforgiveness. 
some kind of spiritual way it gets locked in your body. It's a spiritual thing, so we can't understand it with our natural mind. Jesus. But when you forgive, yes. when you learn to forgive, and shout that, oh, glory to God. Thank Those you. chains come off. Come on here, somebody. All to say forgiveness doesn't always mean association. God, and I have you to forgive somebody you love them from a distance. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. God to say with domestic violence. Some people change, some people don't. And some people will be alive today if they would have distanced their association, but yet forgive them, but move we'll on with your life. Amen. Somebody say, when God removed the roof, when God removed the roof, I can move on. I can move them on. When God removes the pain, God removes the pain and gets to the root of the problem. And gets to the root of the problem. He breaks. He breaks everything. Everything. With his anointing. With his anointing. Somebody say, fire on God. Fire back. Fire on me. Fire on me. Right now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every disappointment. Break every unforgiveness. Break every short patience. In the mighty name of Jesus. Break everybody's spirit. Break every word. Break every word. Negative word. Spoken over my life. Break every generational curse. Break every generation who cycle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Iniquities of our Father. Iniquities of our Father. Break it, Lord. Lord of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Your tongue and I tell you. Your gave me change. Your gave me change. Every covenant. You can get to the root of the problem. Whatever it is, there is nothing that you did not take the care of these folks. Yeah, glory to God. Lord, yes, Lord, yes, every sin, yes. every iniquity, every curse, you took it to Calvary. On the atonement. When I used to witness in the street, some of them used to come up to me and say, Oh, since you don't know my life. God can't forgive me of all that I did. Every sin, every sin yes. was paid for at Calvary. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. I believe with Bill with us, some of the songs said, lean on me. Amen. When you're not strong, be like the poor men that carried the men to the group. If you can help somebody, not always money, we don't always have money. Right. But you can give somebody a word, a helping hand. Amen. A word will go a long way. Prayer will go a long way. It's faster than Western Union. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Amen. You might not be able to see the Western Union, but prayer will go where Western Union can't go and will not go. Amen. Be a helper to someone today. The God anointed you. Amen. To tear down the powers of darkness. You are over the powers of darkness. You walk on scorpions and serpents. Oh, yes, you do. Every believer was given this power. Hey! The enemy don't want you to know what? Praise God. The weakest Christian is a powerful chain. Praise God. Why? Because the great I am is on the inside. And you have to know your identity. When you come against different coverings and roofs, you guys can give you the discernment to get to the root of the problem. Every hand now. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you today. Oh, God. Because you came to set the captive free, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God. You came.
came to set the captive free. You came to the brokenhearted and the bruised, hallelujah. Oh, the outcast, you died, you died, you died for us. Oh, God, you are the master, the conqueror of sin, death, and the grave, hallelujah. And Father God, we look at the woman with the issue of blood. But every one of us got our own issue. Every one of us have our own obstacle, God. Yes. Whether it's naturally or spiritually. And I told the spirit right now to be like an eraser. He shot that boat. Oh, Let your God. blood right now erase every negative thought. Oh. Erase every dream that was put on hold with the enemy say it ain't going to be so sin and you are father of lies. We break it right now. The Holy Ghost is erasing. He's erasing your disappointment, your hurt, your grieving. He's breaking the chains of you accepting who you are less than who you are. He's erasing your low self-esteem right now. Come on, Holy Ghost. Erase it, erase it, erase it. Erase it, God. In the name of Jesus. We come against every sickness right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, erase it by your stripes, oh God. Oh, by your stripes, we are healed. Oh, we are already healed. We were healed over 2,000 years ago. And we receive your healing right now. All we have to do is receive it. It's already done. Glory to God. We receive it in faith today. Father God, and we praise your holy name. Ramosha. Oh, hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, for the blood of Jesus Christ. For the fire of God. We thank you right now for your word, God. For in your word of God, we have a hiding place. It's settled in the rings of glory forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus', Jesus name. name we pray. Hallelujah. Oh, Christ, the solid rock I stand All of the ground is sinking sand All of the ground is sinking sand Oh, Christ, the solid rock I stand All of the ground is sinking sand all of the ground is sinking sand. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my, my redeemer. Until we meet again, again. Father, Father God, God, we thank you, God, God for this Lord. day. We dedicate we this day, day to you, O oh God, yes. and let us remember. That you have empowered us yes. to tear down yes. the kingdom of Satan. We are over him because of the Jesus that lives on the inside of us. Yes. We are joined here with Christ. Yes. Oh, Father God, let us touch somebody with love. Yes. And don't let us look down on anyone unless we're picking them up. Yes, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. As we go from this place, we do not separate ourselves from our holy presence yes. until we meet again. In Jesus', Jesus name. name, consider yourself dismissed. Shalom.